So we have a function defined from the set of positive numbers into the real numbers by f of x equals ln x. And we're going to prove that this function is onto. So another word for onto is uh, surjective. So we need the definition of onto. Recall a function f from a to b, where a is the domain and b is the codomain, is onto if, if, and then for all little b and capital B, so for all elements in the codomain, no matter which one we pick, we can find some element in the domain, so there exists a little a and capital A, such that f takes that element in the domain and sends it to the element in the codomain. So every element in the codomain is covered uh, or gets mapped to by some element in, in the domain. So we need to figure out this proof. So let's work backwards. This will be our scratch work. So we'll start our scratch work by taking an element little b and b. And then we need, we need to find an a, an a. And by the way, what's, what's, what's little b here? I should probably write that. That's a set of real numbers. And a is the positive numbers, okay? Such that f of a is equal to b. Well, what's f of a? Well, f of x is ln x, so we need ln of a equal to b. Okay, we have to find a. Well, how do we find the a? Well, we have ln of a equal to b. We can exponentiate both sides like this. Boom, and so we get a equals e to the b. Okay, so that's going to be our element. And notice this is positive, okay? This is positive. Um, that's because e is, you know, a positive function, right? It's above, uh, the, it's above the x-axis. So that's going to be our a in our proof. So let's go ahead and go through the proof now. So proof. So we'll start our proof um, by taking an element b in r. So take, take any little b in r, right? Because this is this is our b, okay? And and this is this is our a. Then the element a equals e to the b is a positive number, so it's in the set from zero to infinity. And so we've we've done this part. Okay, that's that's this part here. We just did this part here, right? The existence, right? By taking this element, I said it was positive, so all was good. And now we're going to do this part here: f of a equals b. So f of a, well, that's equal to the natural log of a. But what is a? Well, a is e to the b. So you have the natural log of e to the b. But we all know that's b. And so that completes the proof. Right? We took an element here. We showed the existence of an element here, such that f of a is equal to b. And so that shows the function is on to. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.